Hey gang, it's your old buddy Platt. Today I show you how to make Jolly Rancher bacon jerky. So let's go. Alright, so recently in one of my uh, videos for the Will It Ferment uh, series, I uh, fermented peppermint candy and I said in that video that I'd gone down the candy aisle trimly one day at the grocery store and like I said, kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. So one of the things that also hit me while I was down there was like, well, maybe we could use this for jerky making too. Um, the bird, the bird loves the jerky. We talked about in my previous bacon jerky videos, especially that again, the sweetness of either brown sugar or honey or something else really matches that kind of salty, savory goodness of the bacon. So I had that thought in mind, and I went by and I saw. This uh, cinnamon fire Jolly Rancher candy. Well, I thought that was great because now we get a little cinnamon spice along with the sweetness to go with that salty bacon flavor. So I thought that just instantly popped in my mind. So I thought that's what we do today. Uh, I'm still uh, at time of this tasting or time of this video. It's the weekend of the major sporting event that happens at the 1st of February that we can't name. <laughs> Anyway, so I was cooking up some stuff for that, so I thought, hey, grab a little bacon, and let's make some jerky. Uh, this recipe, there's no poundage to this. Normally, I do one-pound bat, uh, batches. This is a 12-ounce packet of bacon, but you can use whatever you like. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have to crush these jolly ranchers. Bird may help me out. And uh, so let me go ahead and do that, and we'll come back, get the bacon ready and make our bacon jerky. All right, so I went ahead and cut, crushed our Jolly Rancher uh, candy. I uh, got a little aggression there. Um, what I'm gonna do real quick is, if, if you've seen any of my other uh, bacon jerky videos, we end up cutting in half. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little of this on my cutting board while I cut my bacon. And while I'm cutting my bacon, I went ahead and preheated my oven to 300. Um, what we're going to do is because normally when we create jerky, we want a low-fat meat um, so it could cook thoroughly. And again, we don't have problems with uh, it going bad on us, prolonging the life. Unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, the flavor in bacon comes from the fat. So we have to deal with that. One of the, way, the way we do it is we're going to preheat our oven, and we're going to uh, basically, we're going to preheat our oven to 300, and we're basically going to sweat the fat off for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my bacon into strips. Now, and then we're going to go ahead and lay this out on our rack so we can... Uh, So we can sweat off that fat, and then after 20 minutes, we will then come back and throw it into the dehydrator. Uh, one thing when you rack this bacon, you do, uh, just like when we use the dehydrator, you don't want a, the bacon laying over each other. It can touch a little bit, but you don't want it lying on top of each other. So, see, we got, oh, that's looking good. So let me go ahead and do this. I'll, I'm going to throw in the oven for 20 minutes. And we'll come back to put into our dehydrator. All right, so our bacon spent about 20 minutes in the oven. As you can see, we've already sweated off a good bit of the fat, which is nice. We're going to go ahead now and kind of dunk this in our solution and start racking our trays for the dehydrator. Real simply, we're just going to get a nice little coating here. Racker up. Uh, we're going to shoot for about four hours. It's uh, in my other videos. It's about while we hit on this bacon. This bacon is a, a thin cut bacon. If you have a thicker cut bacon, which they sell a lot of stores, um, just be aware that you might have to add a little extra time on uh, how long you'll let this cook. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up, and then we'll come back when I get done to turn on our dehydrator. All right, gang, so we've traded up our, 
bacon jerky, our Jolly Rancher bacon jerky. Real quick on this particular model of dehydrator I use, it's automatically set to 165 degrees. If you have a dehydrator that has multiple temperature settings, you want to use the top setting. Most of them are at 165. If you have to do it with the oven, and I have a, I have a video, uh, actually the first couple of jerky videos I did, I did using the oven. You'll want to set to around 165. Some ovens don't go that low. My particular oven goes down to 170. So somewhere in that range. As the, thank you for the burden reminding me. Whatever the lowest setting on your oven is, that's what you want to use. Like I said, this is 165. We're going to let this sit for four hours. Boy, that bird loves jerky. We'll come back in four hours to check on our jerky. All right, gangs, so it's been about four hours. Time to uh, check out our jerky, our bacon jerky. And let's see what we have here. It smells wonderful, just to let you know. Man, it's good. I really, really love, and I've said this in the other videos, but I really love that the sweetness, along with the kind of salty, meaty goodness of bacon. Um, the cinnamon is a little delayed on this. Uh, it's, it's not right up front. Um, the candy says cinnamon fire, not that much kind of spice or heat to it, but and it just that really works with the bacon. It just makes me think that again, that candy aisle, there's just so many more options. Um, you know, I could have taken some of that peppermint candy that I, that I fermented and done something like this. Obviously, Jolly Ranchers has different flavors. Uh, if you wanted to crush sweet tarts, I bet that'd be, I bet with the tartness, I'd throw a real, you know, something interesting in there. But that candy aisle, there's just a lot of, you know, available to you. You know, again, we're just working on the base premise of salty and sweet and the kind of savoriness and the meatiness of the bacon. Just really works out well. So play around with it. Have fun. Uh, you know, with this, again, the great thing on the candy aisle, you just let yourself um, go. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.